Hello, I'm back in the interior that I made in my last tutorial and at the very end of that I commented that I was going to quit out, come back in and do nav meshing, so that's what I'm going to do now. And the reason I had to quit out is because the render window is incredibly imprecise. So sometimes what you click on isn't always what the render window will register you clicking on unless you quit out and come back in and don't edit anything in which case for some reason it becomes a lot more precise until you then start moving things so that means that I'll be able to actually create a nav mesh properly because placing all the individual verts is a nightmare if it's uh, if it's being all imprecise so to nav mesh we're gonna want to click on this thing here with all the little lines and dots nav mesh mode and it's gonna open up this box and at the moment I've got these select edges, select vertices and select triangles all enabled and those will determine where we can and can't place vert so if I've got select edges off I won't be able to put the vertices on um, edges which I'll show you or I'll show you all that in a minute so basically we need to make sure we've got our render window clicked and we're gonna choose a point and we are going to right click and that little dot will appear and if it's green it means it's selected, if it's yellow it means it's not selected, so I'm going to select it. Now holding it down control I'm going to right click again and then again and this little triangle will now appear and that's basically what it is. Nav meshing is just all about drawing triangles and it works exactly the same way as it did in Magek. So if I right click while holding control again another triangle appears then another triangle appears. So it's basically Anywhere you want your NPC to walk, we're going to draw triangles. So now we've got to the point where we've encountered a world object, which is this coffee table. And so I'm going to want to make sure that I have edges selected, which I do. And I'm going to right click on an edge like this. And we'll see now we've got a new vert uh, created and it's drawn a line over to the other one. And so if I move it around, you can see uh, the whole thing moving. If you move it and it moves independently, you've missed the edge. So delete it and start again. And now I'm going to, while holding control, click on this existing vert and then click somewhere else and we got it. And we just carry on with this process until we have nav meshed the whole area. Right click and another one. And another one. And now we can adjust this so it's right up to the edge. And one other trick I'm going to demonstrate as well is let's say I have. A floating vert just on its own it's not connected to anything and I want to connect it up to uh, another triangle I click so I've got three points selected and then when I press A that appears like that and so those are the nav mesh basics but what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to check it for errors and I don't actually know what causes a nav mesh error but sometimes triangles generate errors which means that uh, there's a problem essentially and uh, it'll gen your, your ASP will generate a warning which you don't want. So we're going to want to look for the question mark, find triangle, and if we just hit recheck nav mesh, and if nothing comes up, uh, then your nav mesh is fine. If something does come up, we press delete warning triangle and just draw the exact same triangle again, and for some reason that will just work. So next up, we're going to want to finalize our nav mesh. Yeah, so I did a cut while I had to check which one of these buttons I was supposed to press. So finalizing our nav meshes essentially means that the triangle, the entry and exit triangle, will be detected so your NPCs will be able to enter and exit the room properly. So I've clicked that and you'll see this has become lit. Uh, it's become highly in uh, yellow. And so if I hit M now, we can see that's because that's where the door marker is from a previous tutorial. And we'll probably want to do that again for the exterior cell as well. Uh, I've never encountered any problems with just with doing that, so it should be fine. All you do is exactly the same as this. You open the exterior cell. I may as well do it actually. So yeah, I thought I'd just demonstrate it. Um, so it's just exactly the same principle basically. Once this loads, it will be the same principle. There we go. So we'll see all this now. And I've never had any problems uh, doing this. I'm not exactly editing an exterior nav mesh. Literally, all I'm doing is that finalized cell nav meshes and it might take a while because this is quite big okay there we go. I had to do a cut because my creation kit uh, chugged to a halt but basically this colored thing has appeared 
And there shouldn't be any problems with doing that with an exterior nav mesh. It just means that your NPCs will be able to enter and exit uh, any rooms. And that's basically it for nav meshing. I mean, the only thing about nav meshing is that it's incredibly fiddly and time consuming. And it can be a nightmare, basically. It just takes a, da a long damn time to do it, especially if you've got a massive cell. And I'll, you can generate them uh, automatically. I think you can just uh, click here and there is a button to do it to generate nav meshes, but I have never done that. I usually manually do them, even though it takes forever. So that's all for nav meshing. It's really quite simple and basically exactly the same as in the, uh, in the GEC. So thank you for watching. Hopefully that was useful and goodbye.